The mystery of the lost colony of Roanoke is one of the oldest and most enduring unsolved mysteries in American history. In 1587, a group of English settlers established a colony on Roanoke Island, off the coast of present-day North Carolina. The colony, led by Governor John White, was intended to be England's first permanent settlement in the New World. However, the settlers faced numerous hardships, including conflicts with Native American tribes and supply shortages. In 1587, Governor White returned to England to secure more supplies and reinforcements. Due to the Anglo-Spanish War, he was unable to return to Roanoke until 1590, three years later. When White finally returned to Roanoke Island, he found the colony completely abandoned. The houses and fortifications were dismantled, and there was no sign of struggle or violence. The only clues left behind were the word Croatone carved into a fence post, and CRO etched into a nearby tree. White believed that the settlers had moved to Croatoan Island, which was inhabited by a friendly Native American tribe of the same name. However, he was unable to conduct a thorough search due to bad weather and limited resources, and he returned to England without ever discovering the fate of the Roanoke colonists. To this day, the fate of the lost colony of Roanoke remains a mystery. Various theories have been proposed, including assimilation into Native American tribes, disease, famine, or even a Spanish attack. However, none of these theories have been definitively proven, and the colony's disappearance continues to intrigue historians and archaeologists. The story of the lost colony of Roanoke has become a part of American folklore, and it serves as a reminder of the mysteries and uncertainties that characterized the early European colonization of the New World.